What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Daisy and today I have a little get ready with me video. I'm going to show you how I completed this look. And first, I want to say thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. I'm going to show you some of my favorite products from them and I'm going to talk about just everything about the brand and how amazing it is. So yeah. So over quarantine, I've gotten super, super like into self-care and things that I can do for my skin, for my hair, and just to make myself all around like a lot healthier. So Function of Beauty is one of the more cleaner and trustworthy brands out there because a lot of brands are sketch. However, Function of Beauty is just extremely amazing with their ethics and what they put into their products. There's no sulfates, um, it's paraben free, GMO free, toxin free, cruelty free, and also it is 100% vegan, which I love that. I also found it super, super cool how you can completely customize your hair care routine. Like they ask you all these questions like, is your hair oily? Is it dry? Do you have curly, straight hair? What scents do you like? What colors do you like? All that, you can completely customize the bottle. So I wanna show you the bottles that I customized and just like, you know, how fun they are. So the shampoo is like this, so it comes with a cap like this or a cap like this so when you travel all you have to do is just close it with this cap and then bring this one with you so this is a shampoo and i chose the color purple and it smells like lavender because i feel like it's really like relaxing and it's really nice at the end of the night when you want to wash your hair or the morning and then this is the conditioner and i chose blue because i love blue obviously and i think pink and blue are really cute together also another really cute touch that they added to this is you can do function of whatever you want and as you guys know manifest station is a huge thing in my life it's how I got to where I am now <laughs> I owe a lot of my success to that and I chose function of manifest so I thought that was really cute you can choose whatever word you want function of happiness function of peace whatever um, and I think that's a really, really cute idea. And it makes it exciting to get your new hair care products or your body lotions or body wash from them. I also customized my own hair mask, which I love so much. I think it smells like lavender and eucalyptus. Oh my, oh, it's literally so peaceful. And I'm someone who likes to wash their hair at the end of the day and just like, you know, shower the entire day off. This smell just makes me like, I'm just like ready, you know, like I'm at peace now. So my hair is naturally curly and when I wear my hair natural, I feel like my curls feel very moisturized and healthy. And what I notice with a lot of other shampoos and conditioners, my hair feels really dry and it doesn't go back to its like natural curl form. It'll be like super like one part will be waving, the next will be curly and then it'll feel like dry and brittle like it could just snap. However, my hair literally feels so strong after using this and I decided to like actually curl it and do it so you can like you know kind of see like the softness and what it looks like however my hair like literally cooperated with anything i wanted to do after using the shampoo so i love it <laughs> so for me personally my hair goals are to have it be more moisturized since i have curly hair my hair is naturally a little bit um more dry and just like fluffy so I personally wanted my hair to feel more moisturized. I wanted it to look shinier, which I feel like it does. It definitely looks really healthy, especially being blonde because of all the bleach we have to put on our hair. Um, my hair feels a lot stronger and overall healthy, which I honestly haven't had that feeling in a long time. Oh my God, you guys. Also, I freaking forgot about this when I got my package. You can put stickers on the bottle and look, this is a cute little doggy. Look at how cute that is. That's a dog. I don't know if you can really see that. Like, look at how adorable that is. Like, that just makes me happy. Like, it's the little things, you guys. So there's also a cute little unicorn, which I think I want to put on the pink shampoo. Cause I think that matches very well. Look at how cute that is. And then, oh wait, that is so cute. What are these, what do they call these dogs? I feel like they're like, are they called Sharpays, right? With all the little scrunchies on them. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm gonna put this one on the hair mask. Oh my God, that's so adorable. I love this. Ooh, good hair day. Mm. 
That needs to be on the conditioner. The conditioner that you choose is very important. It comes with all these cute little stickers. You can completely customize everything to where it's literally customized to you and who you are as a person and what you love, which I think is beautiful. So I also want to show you the other products I got. So I kind of showed you the body wash right there. I believe I got this smell, mm, eucalyptus. Mm, that's just my favorite. Like washing your body with that, it's just so peaceful. And I have really bad anxiety, so I feel like the smell of eucalyptus just puts me at ease. And then I also got some body lotion, and I chose green because I think, you know, yellow and green are really cute together. It just kind of reminds me of, like, happy. This is also body lotion, and it's really, really nice. It's really, really creamy, and you feel moisturized but not oily, which is really, really important because I feel like a lot of moisturizers, they can be a little bit too oily, and it's just not fun because then you're laying in bed, especially if you have dogs that shed, then you have dog hair sticks to your legs, and it's not fun. But this one's, like, perfect, so... So I just looked up on their website how exactly they are earth friendly, which I think is so amazing, especially right now and what's going on with the world and all these fires and just like these natural disasters. Like it just feels like our world is retaliating and they're mad at us for everything that we've done to it. So that really, really breaks my heart, but it makes me so happy when brands are this earth friendly. So I looked up some things that they have done to like contribute and just to like, you know, make it a little bit better. It looks like Function of Beauty recently transitioned all boxes to 100% recyclable craft packaging and all plastic bottles to PCR bottles instead of new version plastic that comes from fossil fuels. So basically that just means that there is less waste on our earth and less of an environmental burden and less plastic in the landfill. I also want to show you the box that it comes in. It comes in this cute little brown recyclable box that says up close and personalized because get it like you can personalize everything for it it's vegan cruelty free sulfate and paraben free sustainability focused and customized in the usa so we love that and this was the box for my let's see body lotion and body wash and like i was saying earlier it comes with the stickers it comes with an extra little pumper if you want that or you can use this cap that i showed you guys earlier um so i love that they think of things like that and they don't just leave you to figure out to find some travel size bottles <laughs> So I'm going to show you a few little close-ups of the bottle so you can see exactly how cute they are. So this is the shampoo bottle as I kind of showed you earlier but I want to show you everything. So there's a little sticker that I put on. Um, And then right here, hashtag hair goals. I love that. 100% recycled plastic. And then this is where the name is that you choose. So function of manifest because you know I told you that's really important to my life. And then this is the conditioner bottle. It literally is pretty much exactly the same, except for it's the color that I chose for conditioner. Um, that's my cute little sticker, Function of Manifest. I personally just chose everything to be the same name because I like that the best. And this is the hair mask, which it's super, super easy to take with you everywhere you go. And it's a really, really nice bottle where it's not too skinny and too deep to where you can't really get your fingers in there. However, it's just perfect. So yeah, and then it has my name right there. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but function of manifest. This is the body wash, which this is probably personally my favorite because of the smell and the color. I honestly wish I would have made all the colors this color because I think it's really pretty. Um, but as you can see, my cute little dog right there. And then I have my name right there, function of manifest. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then we got the body lotion, which I also love. Like I was saying, it's like the perfect mixture between moisturizing and not oily. So it has my cute little name, Function and Manifest. I'm definitely going to put on some more stickers on there. So I thought I would pull up the website for you. So look at how cute this is. It just looks like clean and beauty and I love it. You just scroll down, you press take the quiz. And then it asks you all these questions. Build your hair profile, hair type, straight, wavy, curly, coily. So I'm personally curly, I think. And then my hair structure is fine for sure because I'm naturally a blonde and I feel like all blondes have fine hair unless you're just blessed. Scalp moisture. So I have a normal scalp moisture and you press continue. And then it just asks you some other questions about what your hair goals are, deep condition, fixed split ends, hydrate, replenish hair. So really they give you everything you need to have your hair goals. They genuinely care and want you to achieve your dream hair. So I love that. 
I think it's amazing how much effort they put into that. And I feel like it's really, really hard to find with a lot of companies nowadays. So yeah, like I was saying, definitely check out Functional Beauty. I will have my link in the description box below. So please, please go follow that. I highly, highly recommend checking out Functional Beauty. I love it. I think it's amazing and it smells super cute and cool. Also, not to mention, they do deliver this straight to your door so you don't have to go pick it up anywhere. So all you have to do is take the quiz and then figure out which products you want to order, customize everything, and it gets sent to your door. So if you want to do that, click the description box below. Flashback. Thank you. <laughs> Now that Michael's done vacuuming, um, let's get started with my makeup. So I don't really have a specific way that I do my brows. I just kind of do them. I probably should be a little bit more strategic because I could probably have better brows. So the way I was taught, you just take the brow and like you go from like the arch over. Okay, so now that that brow is done, I'm going to do the next one. Also, you guys, I'm breaking out so bad right here, and I don't know why. I'm probably about to start my period or something. I've been on this new skincare routine. Like, you know whenever you start a new skincare routine, you start to break out? Well, that's the stage I'm in right now, and it's not fun. Do you guys ever, like, put the wrong cap on the wrong side of your eyebrow brush, and then you smash it? I can do that all the time. Next, I do my foundation. So I'm about to go to Mexico. I'm gonna go to Cabo with Michael and then Maddie. I think I introduced Maddie in my second to last video or something. Um, but we're gonna go to Cabo and just hang out, try to escape LA. But I'm really, really excited for that. I've only been to Mexico once. I went to Tulum. But I'm thinking of vlogging this one. And let me know in the comments below if I should. But I feel like that'll be pretty fun. And then me and Michael are also moving into a new house, which we're super excited about. It's like so beautiful. There's room for the dogs. And right now we're just in his apartment because I was like trying to find the perfect place um, after I moved out of Clubhouse. Just because I'd rather be patient rather than rush into something. So we finally found a place and Michael is going to move in with me. So I'm super excited about that. And we're also thinking of starting a family channel with our dogs because I feel like that would be really cute. So let me know in the comments below. We're having a hard time coming up with name suggestions for our family channel. So please, please let us know. Now I put concealer on like any of my pimples just to cover them up which I honestly have them everywhere right now, but it's okay. Okay, so I asked you guys questions on Instagram and I'm gonna have Michael read them to me. What's up guys? But nothing too embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> okay, now right. I'm gonna put some concealer on like my eyes. One. Favorite activity to do with Michael? Hmm. Don't say sex. <laughs> Definitely not that. I hate hey. that. I'm just kidding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just kidding. I think going to the park. Like, you know, that's my favorite thing. Like, on my birthday, that's all we did. Like, I just said, I just want to go to the park and have a cute little picnic with you and the dogs. What is your daily routine overall? Okay, usually I wake up. I wash my face. Me and Michael, we take the dogs out. Lately, we've been going to the park. And then usually a workout and then a few appointments, whatever I have to do. And then I'll take some photos for Instagram, maybe film a YouTube video, do whatever I need to do for the day. And then I'm usually in bed after that. I'm so exhausted. What is your height? My height? Um, I'm 5'6". Are you going to get married? Duh. Yes, I've dreamed about that forever. I already know what ring I want. I already know exactly how I want the wedding to be. Who's your favorite character from Vampire Diaries? Ooh, Elena for sure. Like growing up, like I wanted to be Elena. Like I literally tried to find out what foundation she wore, where she got her clothes from. I wanted to be her and I still watch that show. Favorite childhood memory? Oh, it was when my parents got married. So my parents got married um, after I was born and me and my cousin Sienna, we, would like throw these like plastic little flowers out in my grandma's sandbox and I just remember that being such like a beautiful moment because my mom's and my mom and dad's wedding was like right in front of me and we were like I don't know the little flower girls were these cute little plastic flowers that we'd throw. 
Are you going to have a stable and consistent YouTube posting schedule? Because we would love that. <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm literally so bad at YouTube. And I'm trying to get better. I'll try. I'm just like you guys. And I get like insecure about certain things. I'm like, why would anyone want to watch me? And like that goes through my head all the time. Once I move into this new house, it'll be a lot easier for me to get on a routine. And the family channel, we plan on posting on there once a week. This channel, I'm gonna do my best to post twice a week, once minimum, but I promise I'll try. Is your hair naturally curly looks. or naturally straight? <laughs> naturally curly, that's for sure. What style number in Levi's is your favorite? Mmm, I think 501s. I like 501s. Honestly, I get all my Levi's from Denim Heaven, and I don't even really go by like what style. It's just more of like if I like the way it fits my body. What is your manifestation routine? Or like, what do you do for it? I like that question. Okay, so I kind of plan on actually filming a video just like super in depth about my story and how I manifested everything. But like a short little sneak peek of what I do. I visualize what I want. I speak it out into existence as if I already have it. So for example, like I own a home. I say I own a home instead of I will own a home. It's like the key is to say that you already have it. That way the universe slash God starts working for you in your favor. At least that's how I learned. And when I started saying I have, everything changed. Like everything started coming to me a lot quicker. I will uh, visualize it, speak it out. I will also write it over and over and over and I'll say it over and over and over like consistently throughout the day. You just have to also believe it and believe in yourself and do whatever you can to make it happen. Cause you can't manifest something and then lay in bed waiting for it to come to you. You also, you have to like manifest it but then you also have to put in the work to do whatever you can to get there. But I'll make a whole video on like my entire story cause it's very, very emotional and very personal and close to my heart. Somebody asked, where do you see yourself in a year with Michael? By the way, love you both. Well, I think that we're still going to be dating, and we also... I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I don't plan on breaking up, but I don't know what I mean. Well, let me know if you have any plans. We'll talk later, guys. Just <laughs> kidding. He has some tea. Just kidding. No, I plan on being with you for the rest of my life. But we plan on, I would say, at least owning a few homes and some apartment buildings, apartment complexes. What if I could rent out one of my apartment um, uh, uh, apartment Ooh. units to one of you guys? How cool would that be? That would be pretty Wouldn't cool. that be sick? Honestly, yeah. So that's probably the plan because I personally want to invest all my money into just my long-term goals, which is real estate and just like long-term investments that keep on growing for you. When you feel down or sad, how do you pick yourself up? Honestly, Michael helps pick me up a lot. Like I'll come home and I'll just be sad for some reason. And he's just such a positive little light. <laughs> but when I'm by myself, usually I will go outside because I love the outdoors. I feel so connected to this earth and to trees and grass and all that. And I'll just say my affirmations. I'll be like, I am happy. I am loved. I'm beautiful. I am motivated. I'm in light's frequency of money. I, I love what I do with my life, blah, blah, blah. I found my passion, things like that. You know, just kind of like reaffirming yourself that you know who you are and you know your purpose in life. First one is how to be committed into getting a nice body. And the second is how to get rid of hip dips. Um, that just, that has to do with your anatomy. Like I'll be honest with that and just your genetics. However, there are some things that you can do to prevent, you know, having such large hip dips, but they won't go away fully unless you already have like really small ones. However, I've done a lot of like gluteus medius exercises. So like a lot of like fire hydrants and stuff like that. My last booty video, my quarantine bubble butt video, I think that one actually has a lot of really good exercises for your hip dips. So go check that out. Um, also consistency, just like every night, just do these little side booty exercises. But if you want to like know a little bit more into depth, I definitely recommend checking out my workout programs which is obviously in the description how many boyfriends do you have <laughs> um just kidding i just have one <laughs> how is it living together i need a q-tip a q-tip yeah you give me a q-tip oh, you guys he's so eye nice eye. Oh, thanks. Honestly, I feel like we just get along so well. Like, I don't ever really get annoyed with you. So it really just feels like I'm living with my best friend. Honestly, if we lived in 730 square foot with two dogs and all this clutter, yeah, we're a sign of compatibility <laughs> right there. Seriously, plus like our first time hanging out was going to Tulum together. Are you ticklish? 
<laughs> I'll answer that one for her. Yes, she is very much so. Like, I hate being tickled. Favorite car or dream car? I definitely want like a McLaren. I don't really know which one. If I think if I looked at pictures, I would know. And I also want a Yaris like you want one. Like I honestly, I love all the cars that he likes. Um, do you fart in front of each other? I don't fart in front. I mean, on accident sometimes, but rarely. Maybe he's only heard me twice, but I, I don't like farts. I don't like poop. Like, I'm just someone who doesn't talk about that kind of stuff. Tell him about my latest fascination. Sending farts to my mother <laughs> via voice message. Where do you want to live in the future? I want to have a house everywhere. But I think I would want to Another. raise a family Another. in either Northern California, Colorado, or um, in Canada somewhere. Probably right. Vancouver. I've really never been, or but Oregon, he's been. Maybe. Or Oregon, yeah. But then again, it does rain a lot there. Um, but I really do want to have a house everywhere, to be honest. Somewhere you'd like to visit. Right now, I really want to go to France. Like, I've never been to Percent. Europe. But I also really want to go um, Tennessee right now, where he's from. Or just anywhere where they have really pretty, colorful fall trees. Like, that is my goal. Like, his friend owns Blackberry Farms in Tennessee, and it's so freaking beautiful and i want to go there so bad uh, blackberry farms please sponsor us what is your biggest pet peeve and why when people chew with their mouth open does robbie have a girlfriend yes he does sorry ladies and i love her i love his girlfriend this is the first time i've ever like truly liked one of his girlfriends like all of them i was like they're, she's not it but this one like she's so like one like she's insanely beautiful her skin is insanely clear she's just perfect physically but two she's such a sweetheart and so beautiful on the inside like just as beautiful on the inside as the outside and she just enjoys talking to people and like i'm impressed by her social skills like she has way better social skills than i do and like it's just she's amazing and i think she's very very genuine and very good for him do you ever question why you started social media no i don't ever question why like i said earlier i definitely go through my insecurities of you know, feeling confident on here. But I've always kind of known that I wanted to be like a light for younger girls and to be able to help them navigate through life and give them like good advice because that's what like truly fulfills me is when I get DMs from you guys just talking about how I've helped you. Like I literally start crying and it makes me really happy. What is your favorite song currently? I feel like I really, really like Laugh Now and Cry Later by Drake. All right, we got some love from Puerto Rico. Can you say, hola, me llamo Daisy? Hola, me llamo Daisy. Is it llamo or llamo? Llamo. llamo? Oh, yeah, okay. I took Spanish class. Mm -hmm. Next question. Come on, come on, come on. Do you have any professional, personal goals you want to reach? I know we've kind of already touched on it, but anything that you haven't mentioned? Maybe I want to your... start a few more businesses. Yeah. Um, I can can't you, can exactly. Can you give me a hint at any of that? I actually am going to start coming out with probably like more workout equipment and i really really want to like custom make a pair of leggings i think that'd be really fun like ones that make your butt and your hips and your waist look really good all in one and i like know exactly how i design it so i think i'm gonna start working on that sometime soon i think that'd be fun do you miss julia i miss her a lot she was supposed to come last weekend but then she didn't i don't know why but once i get my new house and we actually have guest bedrooms she's gonna come and i'm really really excited about that but yes i miss her so much party. best way to get over a breakup just better yourself like success is the best revenge like that's what i've always learned like after i've had my heart broken like i literally just worked on my body really hard i worked on my grades really hard social media i just like kicked ass like i have never been the girl after i've gotten broken up with to go like hook up with a bunch of guys and eat a bunch of ice cream like i've always just eaten really healthy after and worked out and just make that mother cry over me <laughs> so you better watch out just in case we just kidding uh, yeah, we're yeah, never yeah. gonna break up <laughs> best self-defense tips for women kick them in the balls like that's what i would I do i poke um how about a favorite book power of now i like that book a lot I like self-help books, to be honest. Oh, yeah. But I also really do like story, story books. Like, I love history because I love, like, putting myself in, like, this scenario. You have a favorite quote off the top? So this is kind of one I kind of made up, actually. So you can at me if you ever use this quote. Um, just when you feel like everything is falling out of place, it's really falling into place. Because when you feel like your entire world is coming apart, really everything is happening for the greater good and for where you're meant to be in your life. And I learned that when I really, really wanted to go to um, this one college. And then it didn't work out. Like, you know, I had good enough grades to get into that. I tried to transfer from another college there. Still wouldn't work out. So 
if I would have gone to that college, I wouldn't be where I am right now with social media and able to like be here for you guys. I think Moody has a question for you. What is Moody's question? When are you going to take me out to tea? Ah, <laughs> you're doing that tonight. I thought that was I'm going to put a few curls in my hair and I'll be back. End of flashback. All right, so I added a few curls in my hair. Sorry, it's a little bit dark outside right now. The light's going out and I don't really know what to do. Um, I don't have my lights with me. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys liked my finished look. Um, this is kind of what I do, honestly, every single day. Like, I don't really have different night makeup versus day makeup. I like to stay just, like, pretty simple and natural. Um, at least this is my version of natural. It might not be to you guys, but... Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys want to check out Function of Beauty, definitely click the link in the description box below. Um, they're an amazing brand and I'm really, really excited. I got to work with them. Very, very blessed. Anyways, stay tuned for my family channel with my lovely boyfriend, Michael. What's up? Thank you, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned for our family channel. We're really, really excited. I'm also really excited to come out with a few more updates. I have so much more to update you on, but I need to wait. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!